Look who it is. Can it actually be? I haven't seen him since the HWL tournament. And it is Beast Boy. Beast Boy has returned. And, and he must have been drafted to Awakening on Rising. Last night from one of the matches. Beast Boy making his return to EWE here. Is out with a wrist injury. The final cut is scheduled for one fall. This is losing first in the ring from Africa, weighing in at 199 pounds. Beast Boy. Beast Boy in the ring, set to take on who? The one crazy mofo, one crazy motherfucker, Leatherface. These boys in for a challenge here. And his opponent from the Double Cross Ranch of Alam Amarillo, Texas, weighing 362 pounds, Leatherface. Look out. So, why, how does he keep getting that chainsaw in here? Why do I even try to pay my security guards? They're not any good. It's my start. Wait a minute, Beast Boy counters that. Wait a minute, Leatherface goes behind. No Beast Boy, the speed of Beast Boy. It, oh, wait a minute, he just, he just body slammed Leatherface. Beast Boy just body slammed Leatherface. Now he's up to the top rope. And he's gonna missile drop kick him. Leatherface stopped in the middle. He's, what the hell? He stopped in the middle, in, in mid run. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Let me place on the top rope. He gets down. Why did he get down? And he face like there's an uppercut by Leatherface. And there's a back suplex. This is at the ropes. Oh, clothesline takes him down. Another clothesline. Rolls him under the ropes. Oh, for a spine buster! Tonight we will also see the debut of Spawn and a couple other people. Especially the draft picks. We have a number one contenders Vixens match. The women's title. Our COO returning to the ring in that matchup. Now Leatherface is just stomping on Beast Boy. That's a big boot by Leatherface. Now Leatherface picks him up and slams him down. Now Leatherface goes Beast Boy in the corner. And then Beast Boy kicked him off. Now punches, a slap, and an elbow to the face, and then there's a Russian leg sweep. Now Beast Boy just slamming the back of his head. Beast Boy is another original Zero Gravity competitor. And he's body slamming Leatherface like he's nothing. Not really like he's nothing, but still, it's a body slam nonetheless. Now the Leatherface with just elbow drops in the back. 
That was a man of ropes. They go ahead press another spine. Oh, he countered with a DDT. A DDT. You may win it here. One, two, and no. Leatherface just got the shoulder up. Leatherface almost lost there. Just barely got the shoulder up. Oh, the beast boy with the clothesline took him down. Oh, when he jumped up, he got caught in midair with a clothesline. But, but, oh, no, it wasn't a clothesline. That's actually an uppercut. So, wait a minute. Leatherface is going. And that pile driver. What the hell is he doing? Oh, wait a minute. This is shot to the gut. It's a DDT. In the ropes. Now it's taunting. Oh, and there's a shoulder block to the gut. Now knees, now he's kneeing him in the face. You know, we see the gorilla mode, the pterodactyl. The pterodactyl impact. Maybe going for the pterodactyl impact here. No, he's going for our attack. Because he missed me. Now what is another piece for? He's just walking around Beast Boy. I don't know what for. And Beast Boy just hits him in the back of the neck. Wait a minute. Another face. Oh, it kicks him in the side of his face. Wait, and now another face. He's going for the slice and dice. He's gonna go for the slice and wait a minute, Beast Boy counters and Samoa drops him! Now what's he going for here? Oh! And then he hit that. He called that the beast plan, I think. One, two, three, and he beat Leatherface. Beast Boy wins this matchup. When he was kept, when he was known as the Sean, the Changeling, or whatever, how do you even say that? Whenever he was the changeling, he used to call that forever changeling. But I believe now he calls it the beast plan. Elephant's tried to go for the slice and dice, but it was countered into that. And so there you have it. Beast Boy picks up a huge win here. Where will he go from here? Will he start competing for the Zero Gravity title again? Who knows? Beating the one crazy mofo is no easy task. Here is your winner, Beast Boy! What's the flash up to? Oh. Is he gonna try to face any reaction for the title now? Flash is sneaking up behind Inuyasha. Hey, wait a minute, Inuyasha, he may have sensed him there. Takes that. Full flex demon bomb! One, two, three. And that may be in the fastest title match in history. What's with all these people jumping into Yasha backstage? Well, well Yasha is still hardcore champion. You're in San Antonio, California. I mean, not San Antonio, San Diego. My bad. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall and it's for the number one contender spot for the tag team championships. Introducing first from New York City, weighing in at 261 pounds, the NB. 
Invincible Iron Man. Iron Man and Green Lantern are their tag team name known as Iron Honor. The first time teaming up. Iron Man. Green Lantern. Lantern. Green Lantern making his return after being viciously attacked by the Rebellion and Doomsday. Where is he? There he is. The Green Lantern. And he's going down to the wind. This arena is covered in green light. Watch out. Here's where we see the power of the ring at work. His partner in the ring from out of this world the green lantern now Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees looking at what the ring and their opponents first from Elm Street Weighing 242 pounds, the nightmare from Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. And from Crystal Lake, Jason Voorhees. Together they are the stable of horrors. Jason Voorhees already competed in a match earlier. He made quick work of Pretty face, can't even remember now. Now he has a tag team title match. Originally it was supposed to be Michael Myers tagging with Freddy Krueger, but we haven't seen Michael Myers and he hasn't even made his debut yet. Something's fishy, I tell you. Something is fishy. You can't and can Jason compete in two matches? See here. Oh, look out. There's a bit of summon the fire here. Let me put this table together. Now, stare down between Iron Man and Freddy. With the, with the first punch, and apparently it's gonna be Freddy, but Iron Man blocks the second one. Punches, no. Counter by Freddy and a drop kick. So in the corner, there's a clothesline. Goes behind Iron Man. For a back suplex. Now, Freddy. Throws him in, into the corner, got into a tag team move already. Quick tag to Jason and oh and Jason with a kick to the gut. Iron Man. Wait a minute. Oh what a hip toss by Iron Man taking Jason down. And Iron Man dipping and jiving here. It's a leg drop. I need something to call matches. And what I mean by that is JR has slobber knocker as his signature line to call matches with. Taz has the Rocket Buster. 